Thank you, Chairman Land. Um, I'll briefly explain my, my amendment. It, it's pretty well what the title says. It limits funding to within existing appropriation levels. Uh, H.R. 3597, the Solar Energy Research and Development Act of 2019. My amendment adds a requirement that no additional funds are authorized to carry out this legislation. Instead, my amendment directs the Department of Energy to fund the work authorized under this legislation using amounts already appropriated to its offices of energy efficiency and renewable energy. What's, wor what's worth noting is that DOE's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy is the largest applied energy program at the department by a long shot. In fiscal year 2019, EERE is funded at almost $2.4 billion, which is more than all of the R&D funding for DOE's applied offices in nuclear energy, fossil energy, electricity delivery and cyber security and emergency response combined. DOE solar energy research already receives over $246 million in annual funding from within this program. And this bill wants to increase that funding. Here in Congress, some of, some of us are aware of the fact that we don't live in a world with unlimited resources, so we must work to prioritize the resources we have and make sure we are investing limited federal dollars in programs that benefit the American taxpayer. We can fund basic research in materials, computing, and advanced manufacturing that will lead to new solar energy technologies without increasing EERE spending. By making smart investments in the fundamental science that will drive innovation in solar energy technologies, we can help create a diverse clean energy portfolio without more reckless spending. We don't need to drive up the national debt, which is already exceeding $23 trillion. Uh, and as a side note, if you had to count our national debt starting one, two, three, and go up to the $23 trillion, it'll take you 682,000 years to finish it. I'll be 45 at that time. We can help create a diverse energy uh, portfolio without reckless spending. We don't need to drive up the national debt and subsidize industry to support renewable industry technology. I encourage my colleagues to support this amendment. I yield back.